We know that affordability was top of mind going into this past election. Everything just seems to cost more. We spoke to Aaron Kelly, the CEO of Advanced Symbolics Inc., and they are the creators of Poly. So who is Poly? Poly is an artificial intelligence that we use on the thread, and Poly examines online conversations to get an idea of what's on the minds of Ontarians. And according to Poly, this election was about fear. Aaron, it's really good to see you. We're going to start off with a two-parter for Polly. Do Ontarians want the current government to change, and do they really think the election will make a difference? I would say no. This is really an election about uh, fear, in a way. People feel that we're about to enter. I mean, we've We've been in difficult times for two and a half years, and that that is going to continue, perhaps for different reasons. We might be heading for a recession, supply chain issues, inflation, affordability. People in Ontario are asking, who is best to get us through very tumultuous times, risky times? Do we want to have somebody who's been in the job for the last four years and hopefully has learned a thing or two about getting people through high-risk situations? Or... Do we risk a new leader that might have new ideas and a new way of doing things, perhaps a better way of doing things? And people in Ontario don't feel that the, any of the politicians have that solution. A lot of uh, politicians are, they try to find different ways to engage the youth vote. First of all, the youth vote is lower than it was, or the engagement of youth is lower than it was in the last provincial election. Um, but Another thing that's really interesting is that young women are much more engaged in this election than young men and much more engaged than they were in relative to men in the last election. And we see that women are more interested in healthcare and education than men are and are perhaps more likely to vote in this election. We asked Polly to find out what the biggest the five biggest issues to Ontarians were. What did Polly find? Oh, well, I've got Polly right here. <laughs> so here's the thing. There's the issues that people talk about in the context of the election. And then there's the, I would call them ballot issues, housing, healthcare, affordability, gas prices, and taxes. It's interesting. Uh, affordability is really a conversation of NDP, Liberal, and Green Party supporters. We see PC people less engaged on that and less engaged on health care. Well, a lot of people have been saying that this um, election is an indictment on, you know, the housing uh, crisis in this province. What was picked up about the cost of housing and what people think the government should do about it? It's a huge, huge issue. And it's an issue with all age ranges. The feeling is that we don't have enough houses. So the government needs to allow more housing, but also the type of housing and how accommodating it is to life changes and is it really the, the housing that people want. A few months ago, we did an episode on food and we kept hearing that one of the reasons why food, uh, food costs were going up was because inflation and then uh, the supply chain disruption uh, from the pandemic. But then we're hearing on the news that grocery stores are having uh, record profits. Is Polly picking up any of the contradictions in how much everything is costing and then some companies are doing very well? She is. And, you know, people will say, oh, companies are gouging. And then other people will come in and say, that's just the politicians trying to hive off blame to to grocery stores, et cetera. So I would say that online, the people understand that it's complicated. If it was just a matter of companies are gouging, then you can, you can deal with that with legislation. Something else that costs families a lot of money through the province is daycare. We do have a deal with the federal government for $10 a day daycare. Um, what does Polly uh, find on daycare affordability? People were really happy with that deal. And it uh, early on, it benefited um, Doug Ford. The progressive conservatives got the credit for that because it was on their, their watch. What about rising inflation and interest rates? What's the emotion that Polly is finding around those conversations? Fear. People are very afraid that no one has control of this situation. We had Tiff Macklem say that 
this was temporary originally, and now it's pretty clear it's not temporary. You see that it's it's worldwide. It's tied to supply chain. It's tied to the war. It's tied to COVID. Workers not being available. A tight work worker market. I was in Washington last week, and it's everybody's talking about it. And I think the electorate knows that, and that's why there. This is really a an election about getting through it, not an election about let's innovate and let's try new things. That chat was part of the thread with Nam Kiwanuka. For more content like this, hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at TVO The Thread. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.